Well, this is the one we've been waiting for. We being Martin Tyler and Alan Smith in the commentary box, and you, of course, ready to watch the game unfold. Yeah, I can't wait for this one. Our game for you today, Sturm Graz against Young Boys. And today's referee is Manuel Rui Barbosa. Well, this is always the great moment. The ball's on the centre spot and we're all ready to go. So this is how the hosts line up today. This is the way they like to play, isn't it? And it does allow them, with three at the back, to have two main attackers up front, which is a little bit unusual these days. Well, you look at that formation and you could interpret it as being a little negative, especially if that holding midfielder in front of the back three doesn't venture too far forward. But uh, He's had a go here. Well, that's straightforward for the goalkeeper. Miralem Suleimani moving for guided through. Can finish it off. Real chance now. Got to be. Well, sometimes these opportunities can come too early. And maybe this is one of them. Yeah, maybe just caught cold there. Wasn't expecting the chance to land at his feet and made a mess of it. away from him attacking well here here's a chance decent opportunity there but it was easy in the end for the goalkeeper well I don't know what was wrong there whether he took his eye off the ball he certainly didn't connect with it how he should have I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was good an incisive pass wonderful chance they can't stop him they've got a corner now In goes the corner. That's cleared out of play. It'll be a corner. Here's a couple of players who you might keep a special eye out for today. Alan Smith's certainly going to do that. I love watching this pair play. They haven't disappointed this season. They've been the most threatening players for me, for both their teams. And here's the shot. Close, difficult angle. Maybe did well to get that close. I was surprised he actually went for goal there, but uh, in the end, got the keeper a bit worried. And he keeps possession with that header. On to the attack now. Lovely ball. A real opening for him. So close, the post. Promising build-up until that challenge. Well, here comes the support. It's an excellent cross. And he can clear it here. And it will be their throw. Sonogo. A real chance here. In really for what seemed a certain opening goal. Oh dear, oh dear. I think it's one of those that might play on his mind now for the rest of the match.
That's good movement forward here. Can pull it back here to set up a chance. Oh, he's got it off the line. That's amazing defending. Well, that's what defenders are for when the goalkeeper's beaten, and he was there. In behind the defenders. Just nicked it away from the attacker, the goalkeeper. There's some potential in this move. In comes the challenge. Throw in here. Marvin Potsma. Here's a chance to attack. He's in here. That's an easy cut out for the opposition, saw the pass coming. Three minutes to be added on. Could score! Well, that needed a more subtle touch. He's gone for power and he's nowhere near. Well, I don't think he kept his head down, actually. Probably thought he'd scored before he'd even hit it. Well, at first sight, Alan, I must say it didn't look like a goal. It's good to have the replay because that helps us if it's tighter, but that wasn't one of the tighter issues. No, I think we all knew it wasn't over, although one or two of the forwards were appealing with arms up but that replay that confirms it well that is half time and the score is nil nil here well he's been in the game hasn't he that's the best we can say for him um, but not everything he's tried has come off didn't quite have the impact i was expecting at the start but time to remedy that Big uh, welcome to every one of you to today's game. I'm Martin Tyler, and the biggest welcome from me is to Alan Smith alongside me. And the match is Montreal Impact against Seattle Sounders. Thank you for attending. Have a great time.
here we are, the start of the match. Well, here is the team sheet for the home side. 4-3-3, and they've got natural wide players in that front three with a central striker. I think that's the key, because those lads on the flanks, it's quite a complicated... To put them in front! Well, sometimes these opportunities can come too early, and maybe this is one of them. Yeah, maybe just caught cold there, wasn't expecting the chance to land at his feet and made a mess of it. The visiting team have been undoubtedly the best defensive team in the division, but that defence will be put to the test here. No, I think uh, the home side will have to produce something special to break through this defence. And they've cut it out. Lodero. So now a goal kick to come. I like the look of this attack. Brilliant pass, can he finish it? Opportunity here! Well, the odds were against him, I think, from that position, and he's not close. He never looked up there to see if he had a pass on. Supported there as he can head it on to someone who's waiting to receive it. They've opened them up here. In really for what seemed a certain opening goal. Oh dear, oh dear. I think it's one of those that might play on his mind now for the rest of the match. Really getting at the opposition this far up the pitch now. Guiding it through. Can finish it off. Here's a chance, the goalkeeper exposed. He can lay it off to the supporting player. To take the lead. Oh, it's a long way away from the target. He was so close in. Oh, that's a howler. And he's uh, getting some stick off those supporters. Lodero. Rui Diaz. There's some potential in this move. And now a throw in. And that goalkeeper can just saunter out and pick that up. Good forward play from them. He's in here. Well, he tried to place it and could hardly have placed it further from the goal. I can only think that got a horrible bobble. You know, that was a shocker. Lodero. read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Now this looks promising. Here's a chance. 
looked in control, anything but. What a miss. Yeah, he looked so composed, and then to do that, his teammates won't let him forget that. score well he tried to place it and could hardly have placed it further from the goal i can only think that got a horrible bobble you know that was a shocker lodero rui diaz got numbers in this attack and it looks dangerous this with a chance to go into the lead now he's blocked that well able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement the shot's off he's reached it and turned it aside on the front foot now they've got a corner hoping for the goal that would put them in the lead Good defending. Well, that's straightforward for the goalkeeper. Well, we're halfway through, and we haven't yet got a goal to bring to you. Nil-nil at half time. Strong defensive performance. Hi there, everybody. Welcome to the match. Martin Tyler here. Alan Smith sitting alongside me. Thank you, Martin. Looking forward to this. Our match today is Hacken against Athletic Bilbao. Well, this is how the home team shape up. 4-3-3. And they've got natural wide players in that front three with a central striker. I think that's the key, because those lads on the flanks 
it's quite a complicated job actually because they've got to come inside support the center forward and they've also got to funnel back when they haven't got the ball so an onus on them Bilbao's lineup De Marcos plays with Balenciaga as the fullbacks. Vitor Aspe plays alongside Raul Garcia in the middle of the park. Adoris is the main striker today. He's got support here. He's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. Trying to catch the other team out with a quick break here. Susaeta. Slip through. Oh, chance. Well, sometimes these opportunities can come too early, and maybe this is one of them. Yeah, maybe just caught cold there. Wasn't expecting the chance to land at his feet and made a mess of it. And it's going to be a, a throw here. Diego Martinez, Valenciaga. And there is some backup for him in this position. He's got his shot off now. Oh, nowhere near. No, he's miscued that one. Miscued it badly. down to a teammate played forward a bit of menace in this attack Lundberg it's good work between these two a crowd wanted to shoot well you might wonder now he might be wondering why he took on that shot Encouraged by the crowd? Well, you'd expect him to show a bit more experience than to just react to the supporters because uh, it was a bit ambitious, that. He's coming forward with some danger. Here's a chance! In, really, for what seemed a certain opening goal. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I think it's one of those that might play on his mind now for the rest of the match. Raul Garcia. Good forward play from them. Susayeta. Oh, it's a long way away from the target. He was so close in. Oh, that's a howler. And he's uh, getting some stick off those supporters. Yeah, and he's gone for the corner with power. So wasn't too far away from achieving his goal, but just hit in the post. Supported there as he can head it on to someone who's waiting to receive it. Good defending. Raul Garcia. Adoris. Well, can he get to the ball played over the top? He'll be in on goal. Looking for teammates in the middle. And they get it away. Real opening for him. He's in now. Saw the goal and went for it. What a disaster. An own goal. I don't think there's much he could have done about that. So you have to feel for him.
it's his responsibility. It's definitely an own goal. It is. You'd like to try and defend him, but he just didn't make up his mind quickly enough there. Bad enough to be behind now, but to do it with an own goal is particularly annoying for the team and the player in question. Now, here's a chance to get at the opposition. Well, that pass never looked like reaching its target, and they're away with the ball. Here's Williams. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. And the time to be added on here is a minimum of three minutes. Attacking now. To bring them level. Oh, what a miss. Well, what a chance for an equaliser that was. And I think the tension got to him, tightened up. Well, the referee has signaled for half-time, and it's 1-0 here. Well, he's been in the game, hasn't he? That's the best we can say for him. Um, but not everything he's tried has come off. The opposition defence have marshalled him expertly so far. No chances, really, for the lad.